at Terry Tips with another tip for you. This one's called Tips and Technique Surge Chaser. The reason why I'm talking surge chasing right now because the past two weekends, it's been surging big time, even on the week days, at night, in the evening. It's been surging when it should not be. All right, so what's going on is the weather's getting so much warmer, bringing everybody out. The number one reason is everybody got their income tax now. People are out there spending, they happy, and the drivers are not driving because they got their income tax. So I'm out there, I'm surge chasing right now, and the way I do my surge chasing is... I get there before it surge, or I wait for the surge, all right? On regular days, and it's five minutes away, normal day, normal hours, not peak hours, I don't chase surge. About the time I get over there, it's gone. So I don't even chase it. Even if it's five min- minutes away, I don't chase it. If it's surging that much enough, and I'm outside of the surge five minutes away, it'll hit me up to go in there. All right, so I'm not chasing it, all right? Um, And that's only when it's not peak hours and only when it's a regular day, normal normal weekday, all right? But uh, the idea is to get there before it surges, all right? And then you wait there until it surges, get you a good surge. And this means big events, uh, sports games, uh, concerts, uh, certain areas of your city, all right, but I'm not going to elaborate on that. Let's talk about when to be there, when it surges, and when to go back and forth. All right, now, one thing people need to be focusing on is the elements. I know you guys don't like driving in the rain and when it's storming and stuff like that. Um, You guys are not up on the elements, man. When it's raining, definitely at night, I go straight to the airport. And I know you guys, I know some of you guys are up on that because I see you and sometimes I get get a message from people and they'll they'll hit me up and be like, yeah, I'm at the airport doing it, doing it up. You know, the airport's lit. Definitely on rainy days, you'll end up going, um, short runs and then you get that one long run that somebody just came home and it's easy 40 or 50 dollars you know and um so watch your elements man and on the weekends watch your parts of the city you know your certain parts of the city is going to surge at any time of the day and um you know if you got an uber rental it's great to even go right back if you went 30 minutes out, 20 minutes out, and you don't care about the mileage on your car, and go right back to the same area of the city and just cut off and wait till it surge, all right? And um, another back and forth. So you know when to go back and forth. Definitely at that airport on rainy days. Sometime I'll go 25 minutes out and I'll take my black butt straight back to the airport and get another big ride out of there. End up with good money, at least 80 bucks out of there, less than two hours, all right? Um, so that's a good back and forth. And plus, at the airport, if you go to like um, like hotels, which, you know, the planes had to come down because of storming on a rainy day, back and forth to the hotels, 10 hours, 10 hours, 10 hours. And then you get that one good one that just came back in town going home, all right, and you get a, um, some good money that way, another one to go back and forth is big concerts, big events, um, the soccer just came, you know, we just had that soccer, I made good money off of that, and I went back and forth, and it surged for at least two hours, I knew it was going to stay there because it was Sunday, and I knew a lot of people wasn't driving, I knew a lot of people were there i heard the tickets sold out so you got to be mindful on these things here all right and uh i caught two good rides out of there i think i made close to 70 80 dollars uh 
on two trips. All right, I, I know one of them was 50. About the time I got back, the other one was like 20, 20 something dollars. All right, but you know you gotta um, you gotta go through the traffic, whatever. It's all about that money, right? Go get it. You know you gotta go get it. Don't complain about it. Go get it. All right. Um, so no one to go back and forth. Another one, which uh, I learned. I remember I was in a, a certain area, like a area I'm not familiar with, was uh, way up north, and it was surging. I seen it surging on Uber, all right? And I was like, dang, you know, where is it? And I'm driving all through the surge. What I did was look at the Lyft app, which pinpoints you, which they have the little uh, rec rectangles right there on the spot so i drove straight to that spot and that's where everybody was so you know uber have a big uh area of the surge but if you can't find it or want to pinpoint where is that look at your lift app go to the rectangle all right so sum it up know when to go back and forth to get your surge um know the elements meaning the storm all right um, when it's raining, make sure you hit those uh, airports, and I'm sure it's in every state. Uh, Saturdays, know your uh, city area where to be, okay? Um, what else? And uh, use the Lyft app to pinpoint exactly where everybody is, all right? And I'm not going to elaborate of on sitting and knowing when to wait because I'm sure I went over that already but uh you guys be safe out there keep smiling keep driving the money's out there that's why we out there Terry Tips with another tip for you drive safe Peace.